One of the ways you can update the look of your home is by changing the casings around your windows. If you have been thinking about changing them up or even adding casing because your windows don't have any, in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to do it. Hey everyone, my name is Yami, you're Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, we moved into this home a little over a year ago and we have been trying to update it and give it our own style ever since we moved in. And this was actually the first time I moved into a house that had no window casings whatsoever. So I knew that was one of the first things I wanted to tackle when we moved in. Now this house doesn't have a ton of windows, so I wanted to create a great design that emphasized and really featured the ones that I had. Now you can find a ton of inspiration online, and the first place I went was Pinterest to see what kind of ideas were out there already. I knew I wanted something that was clean, a little bit more modern, but still had that farmhouse feel. However, I wanted my windows to make a statement. So based on all the inspiration that I found, I came up with an idea of what I wanted for my windows. I drew them up and I gave them to my husband, the Latino engineer. Now, this video is in partnership with Woodgrain. Woodgrain has a vast selection of trim for your home. And the best thing about it is that you can find it in your local Home Depot. If you remember, we replaced all of the baseboards in our home with wood grain trim right after we finished our plywood floors. I will tell you a little bit more about wood grain throughout the video, but for now, if you love to update your home DIY style, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more. Okay, let's get started. Now what you saw me create earlier was the rendering of this casing. And I didn't use any fancy software, just the free version of Canva online. Now for my window casings, I use three different sizes of millwork. And these are from Woodgrain's Timeless Craftsman line. I wanted the casing to be multi-dimensional, so I added one and a half inches from the side casings, both on the top part of the casing as well as the windowsill below. And if you've been thinking about doing something similar, you are welcome to pause the video and take screenshots for easy reference. The first thing we needed to tackle were the existing window sills. We needed to remove those. First thing you need to do is use a razor blade to score all of the edges. The next thing you wanna grab is a hammer and a crowbar. And again, I have to give a shout out to my husband, the Latino engineer who did the tough part of this. You want to make sure to remove any nails sticking out after you removed the windowsill and then make sure to use a shop back to remove any of the smaller debris. Then after those were removed, my husband took my plans and we cut all the pieces to work. I will make sure to list all of the products and the tools we use to change up our windows and I'll list them in my description box below. Installation was pretty simple. We started with replacing the window sills and we worked our way up each window. And then uh, obviously I left a little bit of gap, so we're gonna cock around that and just nail it in and then we'll put the rest of it and then the windows will pop, as they say.
We use a combination of liquid nails and nails to install. Now the top of the window casing was comprised of three different pieces, one five and a half inch piece and two one and a half inch pieces. And these were put together prior to installation. Woodgrain is a manufacturer and supplier of doors, windows, trim, and much more. And their selection of trim is amazing. You can get options from traditional, craftsman, contemporary, farmhouse, you name it. There's an option for every style. After the windows were installed, we used Woodgrain's caulk to fill in all of the seams, giving the appearance that these window casings were there all along. Finally, I came in with my favorite paint. This is the paint that I use for all of the trim and any built-ins that I might have in my home, as well as my kitchen cabinets. This paint is smooth, it wipes so well in case it gets scuffed up or dirty, and it's extremely durable. Again, all of my products are listed below. And here are those finished windows. I love how these windows turned out. They added so much character to these lifeless windows. 
and really elevated their look. Now you can leave these windows just the way they are and they look amazing all on their own, but you can always dress them up with drapes as well. But whenever I did this, I made sure to lift up my curtain rod to make sure that I can see that beautiful trim above the window as much as possible. Well, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought and give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Thank you so much to Woodgrain for partnering with me in this video. I'll make sure to include a link to their website as well as links to the trim pieces that we used for our windows. I will be back next week with a home decor video, so I hope to see you then. Until then, adios.